Okay, everyone, we will go ahead and get started now. Thanks for being patient with us. <coughs> okay, so good, good, good day, everyone. Welcome to the Exams webinar. First, I want to thank you all for attending this event. My name is uh, Giovanni, and today I'm here with Aristo. Aristo is our application engineer. Before us starting, just to remind, mind, feel free to ask any questions at any time. You can use the chat facility located at the lower right corner. All the questions will be answered at the end of the session. Concerning the agenda, the webinar today will focus on the MTW visa and is a case of the package. MTW visa is a wireless human motion tracker optimized for developing real time applications for wearable solutions. And during this session, we will explain how to, in, how to integrate MTW a window, how the integration is very really straightforward with the excellent MTW software and the easy to use API. Okay, so we can we can start. I hope that everybody joined the webinar. Okay. Okay, great. So just a little bit of background uh, about Xsense, the company. Uh, as you can see here, um, this is a picture of our company at our 15-year anniversary. Uh, we have about 80 employees and uh, over 50% uh, of our employees are, are dedicated to research and, and developing our software as well as our hardware. Uh, here's a timeline of uh, how Xsense has come so far. You know, we started in 2000 and we've gone through multiple iterations of our software as well as our hardware up until today, uh, 2017, where we're showing you uh, the MTW a window. This is the last position to our package. All right, so just a little bit about our hardware uh, and what we can do with that hardware. Um, so these are our wireless human motion trackers. And these are individual IMU units. And uh, you can have one tracker uh, connected or you can have up to 20 wireless trackers connected to our receiving station at one time. Um, you have up to a 50 meter wireless range in an open environment. And um, within the office space, you get about uh, 25 meters of wireless range. Um, you can get up to a uh, 120 hertz wireless update rate. And so uh, with that, as you have more trackers attached, uh, that wireless update rate will be reduced. Um, you get about eight hours of battery life with each of these trackers. And each of our trackers has an accelerometer, a driver scope, magnetometer, and barometer. So you can get all that data as you're collecting. Okay, just uh, sorry to interrupt you. I see that I think is any problem to hear us. Uh, I, you should uh, be able to con connect to join the call, connecting the audio via the computer. We can. Okay. We are sending now the instruction. Okay, great. So, uh, all right, we can start. Just continuing on here. Um, what I'd like to do uh, after we talked about our hardware is. Uh, what I would like to do is go ahead and talk about the MT Manager software suite we have. 
and also show you some of our hardware as well. So in a, in a couple moments here, I'll go ahead and turn on our webcam so you can see us and also show you uh, some of the hardware that we have, um, but also share my screen so you can uh, see the software package that we have available. Um, so the first one I'm going to show you is our MP Manager software suite, uh, which allows you to see 3D orientation in real time, uh, but also gives you access to inertial and uh, magnetometer data in real time. And uh, from that, the software, you can go ahead and collect data and record it and export it to a variety of uh, formats and go ahead and analyze all that data. Um, so what I'll go ahead and do right now is go ahead and uh, go ahead and share my video here. So just give me a couple seconds here. Okay, so now I'm sharing my screen again. Uh, and now instead of using the WebEx video format, I'm using the Logitech webcam sharing. So now you can see us. And so uh, what I wanted to show you here is uh, one of these sensors. Uh, so this is one of our sensors. And you can see on the bottom here, there's a power button and also a charging port and data port as well. Uh, we have a receiving station here, which allows you to go ahead and charge the XN sensors. Um, but it also acts as a wireless receiving station as well. And then we also have uh, BNC synchronization ports on the back of the receiving station as well. Um, but we also provide you with a uh, wireless USB receiving dongle as well if the station is too much for you. And say, for example, you want to use this with a Microsoft Surface or something like that, um, you can definitely go ahead and use this uh, USB wireless receiver. An additional thing to note about these sensors is that they do have uh, Velcro attachments on the back. So that way, uh, if you want to use these with uh, some sort of strap, uh, we provide Velcro straps. You can just go ahead and place them onto the Velcro straps and then wrap these around any body parts that you wish to uh, measure. Uh, what we also provide, and uh, what we'll also be using, uh, one of our examples here, is a uh, headband. And so if you want to measure any head movements, uh, what I can go and do is actually place this on the Velcro attachment of this headband. And Giovanni can go ahead and now wear this headband and go ahead and measure uh, some of his head movements. Okay. So what I'd like to go ahead and do is actually show you guys the MT Manager software suite and uh, what we can do with that. So let me go ahead and open that up. And so now what you'll see here is this is our MT Manager uh, software package. And uh, what I'm going to go ahead and do is go ahead and enable our wireless manager. So if I have the station connected to my PC, I'm going to go ahead and enable that and have it pick up my wireless sensors. Oh. Okay. He's going on. And so now you can see that this sensor that I had before is actually being picked up. I can see the device ID as well as the signal strength. Okay. So now what I can do is go ahead and start measurement on all wireless masters. And once I start measurement, it'll actually start receiving data from the sensor to the receiving station. Okay. So now that's on. And now what I can do is go ahead and visualize the 3D orientation. So if I go ahead and open up, okay, as Giovanni is moving his head back and forth, I can see that orientation visualized. Okay. So this may not be uh, what I necessarily require. So for example, the roll pitch in the yaw, it may make sense to me how this is counted. Okay. So you go in and reset some of these orientations. Um, so the orientation okay. reset here. Um, so there's a heading reset, inclination reset, alarm reset. What that means is I'm resetting one of the axes, two of the axes, or three of the axes. So I'm going to do a full, complete alignment reset. And what that's going to do is set everything to do zero, zero, zero. It's going to set the rule to zero, the pitch to zero, and the yaw to zero. 
just just one second. I hear uh, some background noise. So if if you have your uh, if your mic is not on mute, I'm going to go ahead and mute it right now. I'm going to go ahead and mute everyone again. Okay, perfect. So what I'm going to do right now is go ahead and reset all the axes. So uh, I'm going to ask that Giovanni here sit as straight as possible so his head is in a quote-unquote neutral alignment and go ahead and do an alignment reset. So now everything is zero, zero, zero. So when I press that alignment reset, it's going to reset everything to zero, zero, zero. Um, so that can be my quote-unquote origin point so I can start my data collection. So now as Giovanni moves his head, he does an axial rotation or flexion extension of his neck. You can see that that change in each of the axes. And so you can go ahead and record that data. Um, now you can do this with any of your uh, body segments. You know, if you want to do this with your wrist, or you want to do it with the upper and lower leg, right? You can do that with any of the uh, body segments you wish to measure. All you have to do is go ahead and reset that alignment. And that resets it to zero, 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 so that any deviation from that initial orientation you can go ahead and see that visualized. Uh, now, we don't just provide a visual representation. Uh, we also have uh, orientation data as well. So as Giovanni is moving his head, right, I can see that rule pitch and yaw visualized in a graph format. Right? And all this is actually, uh, you can export all this data to Excel or to a TXT CSV file. Um, all that is provided for you. Um, so not only do I get uh, all of the orientation data, but I can also get the uh, Excel robber data as well, angular velocity, and also the magnetic field data. Okay. But in addition to that, I can also get barometer data as well. So if I go ahead and display all this. You can see when I stand up to it. So as Giovanni is moving around with the barometer data, you can see when he's standing and when he's sitting. Right? So if I go ahead and bring up the video camera again, yeah. as he's moving around, you know, I can see all that data. Okay, so this is just one of uh, the examples uh, of one of the software packages that we provide. Now, if I go back and let me go back to our presentation here. Um, we also provide uh, XSense device API. Now, we uh, work with MATLAB. Uh, we also work with C++ and C Sharp. So we provide all the source files. And we also provide uh, example code as well. So these are examples that we've developed that uses the XSense device API, which you can go ahead and tweak and use. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is, uh, instead of looking at the MT Manager software speed, what I'm going to go ahead is uh, take a look at some of our MATLAB code, and then take a look at uh, some of our C++ code as well and show you uh, how that works. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and close out of this for now, and go ahead and open up the MATLAB. Uh, so what we have here, and that's ready for you guys to use is a example code which gives you the MTW inertial data in real time. So this allows me to see all that data and allows me to graph that. So uh, you know you guys can go ahead and modify this code as you see fit or just use it as a building block to see how certain functions are used and things like that. Um, so we provide all this code for you, and you can definitely go in and take a look and see how that's built and definitely modify it for your own uses. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is actually run some of this example code so you can see how it's built out. And uh, we'll take a look at uh, how we can utilize that as well. So I'm going to go ahead and run this. And this is a simple MATLAB code. And so you can see on the bottom here, it says uh, you know, some of the props here are found station on COM port 5 with the ID and the bot rate. And so uh, it's props you with these are the supported update rates, 120, 180, 60, 40, which update rate you want to use. 
Uh, since we're only using one sensor, I'll just go ahead and use 120 hertz. And then it'll ask me which radio channels I want to select. And I'll just go ahead and select one of these radio channels here. And then it says undock the MTWs and make sure that they're synced. So uh, the way I know that an MTW is synced is if they are flashing at the same rate as the station. So I'll go ahead and show you this on this screen here. Okay. So we have the sensor and we have the station. So there, there's actually a communication link here that would show that it's flashing at the same rate. So right now it's not flashing, so I might have to reinitialize the software or we'll see what happens here. It said my device was rejected. So we'll go ahead and run that again. Okay. So now you can see it's synced. So you can see that the station LED is blinking at the same rate as the sensor. So that's how you know that they're connected and synced together. So if you have multiple sensors, uh, then you want to make sure that all the sensors are blinking uh, at the same rate. That means they're synced. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and make sure that the device is accepted. So now it's accepted. I think before it was rejected uh, due to the fact that we power cycled it. And you guys can see that, but we did power cycle the devices just to make sure they were connected. And it's going to ask me if I want to keep this current status, I'll just go ahead and say yes. And now it's activating the measurement mode. So now you can see, just as before with MT Manager, you can get the same exact data, uh, whether or not you're using MATLAB or MT Manager. Okay, so we just have this plotted in a more uh, visually appealing manner here. All right, go ahead and close out of that. So we have a variety of different uh, MATLAB codes, uh, MATLAB examples that you can go ahead and dive into and take a look at how they're developed uh, and go ahead and really build your own application from that. Uh, so what I want to show you now is our uh, C++ code uh, and show you some of the example code and, and how that works. Okay. So, so very similar to the same same way that MATLAB is built out. You know, we have uh, source code here uh, that has an example built out, and you can go ahead and take a look at that. Uh, what I'm going to go ahead and do is run this code. But basically, you can take a look at some of the source files, and you can take a look at uh, how we built this out. And basically, from this, you know, use this as your building block to build your own code. So I'm going to go ahead and run our MTW C++ example here. And so what we built out for you is a very simple, basic uh, command line uh, application here. And so what we're doing is waiting for the MTW to wireless, wirelessly connect. Now we see that the same ID has been connected. And so if we actually take a look at it, um, we can go ahead and see that this is connected here and that they're blinking at the same rate. Okay. So now it says press Y to start measurement. And we'll go ahead and do that. And so now you get the same thing here. You get the same amount of data, right? But now in our C++ example, we don't necessarily have it plotted, we just have it printing out to the command line. Um, if you want to do something similar uh, in C++ as in MATLAB, uh, you can definitely go ahead and do that as well. Okay. So I'll just go ahead and close this. 
out of that. So uh, now I'll just go back to my presentation here. Uh, a little bit more about uh, our hardware. Uh, we do integrate with a variety of different third-party devices. Um, so you know, if you're doing a study and you want to synchronize with an EMG system or a pressure mat or other optical system, we do provide that option of allowing synchronized recording uh, with the BNC ports that are on the back of our receiving station. And so once again, I'll just go ahead and show you guys that once again. Those are our BNC ports there on the back of our receiving station there. So you can both sync in and you can both sync out uh, from different third-party devices. So with the API, we also provide uh, full HTML documentation. Uh, as well as application notes as well. So if you're going through and you want to find a particular function, um, you can go ahead and take a look at our documentation. And, and for the most part, that accounts for uh, most of the questions that you may have. Now, if, if that doesn't cover it, uh, we also have BASE. And BASE is our user forum. So you can go in there and ask questions. Um, and, and get answers from engineers or other users of Xsense. So we found that BASE is really helpful if you wanted to go ahead and search for a question, maybe someone has already asked it before, it would likely be on BASE. And so a couple of customer applications in terms of using the uh, Xsense development kit. Uh, there are a couple of papers that are listed on here. Uh, measurement of lumbar spine, range of movement, and coupled motion using inertial sensors, uh, protocol validity study, the use of wireless instrumentation for stability testing, and incorporation of a foot-mounted IMU for multi-sensor pedestrian navigation. So these are just a couple of the papers that have been published using the MTW Awinda platform. Uh, but you can see a, a variety of other papers uh, on our website as well. Um, we also have the Motion Monitor and Framarel, and they are companies that have actually taken our MTW system to the next step and actually use it for uh, motion analysis. Uh, a couple of other uh, customer applications that we have on here uh, involve uh, a variety of different things. Um, so you can see on here, uh, I'll just go over a couple of these, is uh, the one in the upper right hand corner is the Rosing Research and Development Laboratory, which has actually taken our uh, MTW Window Development Kit and actually used it to analyze uh, an entire marathon. Uh, so that's, that's of particular interest. Um, we also do uh, back analysis. So this company, Valedo, has actually taken our IMU and actually used it to improve uh, the backs of their patients actually through a video game. Yeah, I love Oklahoma. Yep. And so all of these customer applications are uh, available to view on our website as well as uh, very detailed write-ups are also available on our website so you can go ahead and go read through the, those as well. Okay, so now I'll leave uh, about two to three minutes for any questions that you guys may have. Uh, I'll go ahead and look at uh, the questions that have originated in the chat window there. Okay, so there's a question here. I mean, does the MATLAB code save the coordinate data when you have that live feed for a single MTW? Um, yes, you can. Uh, you, you can save and generate a file. It will save locally on the computer. It will include all the different kinds of the value of the parameters. You know. There's another question from Jose here. Is there an SDK for Python? So unfortunately not right now. Uh, we just do uh, MATLAB, C++, and C Sharp. Okay. 
Okay, we have another question here. Where can we find the MATLAB script for real-time data analysis? Once you install the, um, the, the SDK suite, it will not be included in the setup file. It will be no problem file, as you can see. There is a folder called SDK, and it's including all different kinds of scripts from, from, from MATLAB, from C++, to C-sharp. Concerning the we have a question concerning the uh, maximum frame rate uh, in case you use 220, the would be a 60 hertz. So the it's just to explain internally the the sensors are sending at 1000 hertz. We apply a low pass digital filter of 600 hertz. And then we perform a uh, SDI, a strip down integration, and we send all the results with an update rate that is uh, very low according to the number of cells. So you don't lose in accuracy, you lose in resolution, because all the data are sent for the maximum resolution. So for 20 samples, the same for the, the update rate would be 60 hours. Okay, we have another question here from Felipe here. Am I able to monitor a human running process? Yes. What we show uh, the project that was done by UC for the for the marathon is that that is done um, on the on the run performance. And we have another question here from Jose. Is there any library to measure the joint angles? In, no, like we don't we don't provide scripts that measure the joint angles. What you get in the sensor detection. So what uh, uh, find the literature or the whatever customers are doing, they perform a sensor to segment the calibration. It means like they go to match the um, orientation of this of the sensor, the output of the sensor, with a, a, a non position of the body segment, like what Aristo showed me before. He asked me to say that and to have a, um, a, 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 a specific position of my head, so I assume like a neutral position. And then you perform uh, the preset uh, of the axis, and you got to match the actual neutral position of the head with the zero, zero, zero for the uh, segment. It's called sensor to segment calibration. You can find many, many papers on our website that we will mention to show how it, be, uh, how it, it can be done. It's also done in our environment data, so you can refer to the white paper and the one. Is the software in question here comes for free with the equipment? So yes, the software that I just demonstrated and the API is all provided to you for free. All comes with the purchase of the Xsense hardware. It can be used only with the desktop, from the problem and the problem. Another question here, is there a MATLAB code with a live feed for the whole body XSense model, multiple sensors? Uh, okay, like uh, uh, with the MATLAB code, you can build your own, uh, like, your, like you, you can work up to the process, so you can work fully with a body solution. It's not including any body kind, so it's not implementing Public and model like the environment. On this purpose, we should use the environment if you want an out of the box um, to the tool that is not requiring any program on this side. If the MTW is that, it will require you to be the So, another question here Does the unit output in another format for orientation? Yes, we uh, we have the spoiler like uh, I just showed you. We do also put the pattern and the orientation. So all the different kind of formats to 
And we have another question here. Can MT manage your software to synchronize multiple sensors at the same time? Yes, sure. Like uh, both the MT manager software and the SDK example, uh, they are able to uh, synchronize up to two products at the same time. Does XSense work with companies to develop new testing protocols and services using XSense sensors? Yeah, sure. We have some of our uh, users that they, um, they, are, they are companies that they develop they, um, on uh, the product and software uh, based on, on uh, our hardware and the SDK. Okay, uh, just a second, little last one. Another question. Uh, how much does it cost? Like the full package with uh, the six trackers cost uh, the six trackers, the, um, the straps, uh, the tissue for the upper body cost 4700. But uh, we have a, a light version with just one tracker, the, the long receiver, the, and the software that starts from, from $800. We have another question here. Can MT Manager be used with other sensors, not MTW? So uh, you can use any of our uh, XSense sensors with MT Manager. So if you're using any of the MTI series, um, then you can definitely go ahead and use MT Manager with those sensors. Uh, but it does have to be an XSense sensor. Uh, another question here is, I see you are using Z up. Can you choose a different axis up? That it is, it depends on which kind of um, object reset you are, you are performing. At least it doesn't perform uh, reset to the chief axis. But then like if you do place the center line to the line uh, surface, you can just reset the ending and then you like, select mm, the uh, the Another question here, can you use MT Manager on previously recorded sensor data like the Biomech Awinda system? I don't understand this question. Like, uh, so, uh, the, um, like, the MT manager is, is like a, a software that you can, is only able to open some, you know, the data that have been recorded with the SDK or with the MT manager, no other software. Okay. So if you if have data. If you are data, in the raw data, and the environment window is also providing raw data in real time and in the data. And the information is included under the table uh, panel. Like if you uh, look at the header, you will see that uh, under the S segment is included all the raw data of the of the sensor what was placed on the header for the environment. Great, we have one more question here. Where can we find the MATLAB script for real-time data analysis? Will okay. it be possible to hear the answer the first time? Okay. So once you install the MT SDK suite on your uh, on your machine, you can access to all the scripts. The scripts will be located in a in program file, except on like on the folder for of the installation where you have all the you know, like um, on Windows where you have like all the uh, where the XM suite will be installed. Okay, we have the last two questions here. Uh, okay, so the first one here is, can we use MTW for hours of collecting data or have to charge them after a certain time? So uh, you can use it to collect up to eight hours of data, so that's the entire battery life, and then you have to charge it after the battery is depleted. And then the last question that we have I here. It just sort of interrupts you. It's like uh, eight hours. 
to nine, that's the value of which you are using. And uh, it's important to tell that all the max units are always active. The jars, my windows, with uh, the thermometer are always active. They are not going to stand by. Then we'll ensure that every day we will be able to ensure in the less of the Okay, the last question that we have for today is what's the difference of the set orientation options? Okay, so there are a few different reset orientation options. Uh, what you can do is you can reset one of the axes, two of the axes, or all three of the axes. So what we did in our example was we reset all three of the axes so that roll pitch and yaw were all zero, zero, zero. Okay, and then we took the difference from the zero zero origin points to calculate you know, if there was axial rotation or if there was flexion extension and things like that. Because okay. by by default the EO will refer to the in Okay. If you have any other further questions, do you yeah, have uh, another one? Just pop up right now. Can we read the quaternion rotation model in real time? If yes, uh, it's not included in the example that we provide, but you can just uh, recall the, uh, the function that is included in our SDK, where uh, in uh, um, the function in real time we give you the, the quaternion rotation for every tracker in every real time. So we'll have four different. Uh, a number for every frame for every every sensor. Just a second, another question for Bob. Oh. Mm. Is the same question? No. At the moment, there is no um a, a memory card in the for offline recording. Uh, like. Inside a, a sensor, we have a, a, a buffer memory that uh, allows you to, um, to, uh, to to store the data if you are out of out of range, and uh, but it's, it's less than a minute. It's more like uh, uh, to uh, ensure that you don't lose any, any data if you are out of range. You will get the warnings on every hand if you are. But we don't have an offline recording or like an analog for this device. Another question? It, it thank you all for attending the, the webinar. If you have any question, like we will uh, send you an email with all the answers to the question that you asked in the, the, the webinar. And uh, feel free to contact uh, like a uh, mean or a uh, list of or any question that you would like to left. Hope you enjoyed seeing us today. Yeah, thank you for, for, your, for your time and uh, a lot of um, large audience. So. Okay, have a, have a great day. Bye bye, thank you very much. Just let's close the block now.